trabalhando todos os
Let's lift up our hands to the Lord. Let's give him glory, faithful God. He is good all the time, all the time. Our God is good. Let's lift up our hands to our Father this morning. Let's give him all the glory for his faithfulness to us. Are you glad to see this beautiful day made by your Father and my Father? Let's lift up our hands. Let's give him all the glory. Father, you are good all the time, all the time. You are good. We give you glory. We give you praise. We worship you. Thank you for bringing us to this brand new beautiful day that you have made. A day of your power, a day of glory, a day of your goodness to us as a family. We thank you, Father. We return all the glory. We return all the honor. We return all the praise. May your name be glorified forever and ever and ever and ever. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Good morning, welcome to Power to Triumph this day, Friday, the 26th day of March, 2021, a day be made by your father and my father, for you and I, and not for anyone else, and not for anything else, but for goodness and mercy. Let's lift up our hands one more time, let's celebrate our father. Father, we celebrate you, we give you glory, we magnify you, you are too faithful to fail. Thank you for everything that you've done and you continue to do for us. To you alone be glory and honor and praise forevermore in Jesus' precious name. We are prayed. Amen. Let's ask the Lord for a word this morning. Open my eyes to see that word. Send your word my way this morning. Let's say, Jesus, send your word my way. Send your word my way. Acts chapter 20 verse 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. So, Lord, let your word locate me this morning. Let your word give me an inheritance that belongs to me. I take my inheritance from your word. I take my inheritance by your word. I take my inheritance via your word this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We celebrate your faithfulness. Hallelujah to you, God, in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Good morning one more time. Welcome to Power to Triumph. This day, uh, Friday, the 26th day of March, 2021. Is the last day of the week that we broadcast and then we meet again on Monday. But for this morning, we are streaming live on YouTube, YouTube channel, Sonia Adeni Ministries. So if you haven't subscribed and like that and subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell, please go and subscribe right now. Click on the notification bell. Number two, 
also streaming live on Sunny Adeni Ministries on Facebook. If you haven't liked and followed the page, please like and follow that page as we go on this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. Now, one more thing to do before we go to pray and study the word this morning is uh, take this stream, share, share, share. The new normal evangelism is to take our live stream and share and reach out to more people. And, we, and if, as a matter of fact, we reach out to more people as we share those streams. And somebody's salvation and victory this morning will be part credited to your heavenly account in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. So let's share this stream. Reach out to somebody. Share on your page. And somebody, salvation, uh, who gets saved this morning, is salvation. Their salvation will be credited to your account in Jesus' name. Now, I recognize those of us on Facebook. And then go ahead to recognize those of us on YouTube as we go ahead this morning to uh, pray. On Facebook this morning, I do see my bosom friend, Elder to me, Adele Big Bay, I see Sister Chinwe Okolo, Brother John Nduka, uh, Sister Ifioma Jane Eruchalu, uh, I see um, Pastor Jude DK, Sister Adebola Esson, Mama Eli Kiba Trust, uh, Sister Eunice uh, DK, Sister Sukaina Sheikh, Dickness Lola Adeleye, Brother Joel King Osa, Sister Chinwe Okolo, Mama Harolda Cole, um, Sister Juliet Ennis, Sister Pavin Kisembo, Sister Okpeemi uh, Fasoiro, um, Sister Rachel Shonyolu, God bless you, ma'am. Much respect. Uh, Sister Ade Shola Allah, God bless you. Good morning. I see Sister Wisdom C. Um, Mama Betty Brown, Sister Eki Ochonogo, Sister Volet Venosa, uh, Brother Lucky Onos, Omos. I see also Sister Pat Abaleke Nwakama, Sister Shade Onoson Yaudele, all the way from Toronto. Um, I see Saint Shane Moon. Shin Moon is watching. God bless you, Brother Joel King Osa. God bless you. I see also Fred Houston, uh, Brother Fred Houston, uh, Sister Caroline Vidal. Um, good morning. God bless you. Welcome to Power to Triumph. I believe this morning you are triumphing through in the name of Jesus Christ. Now over to YouTube. On YouTube this morning, I see Sister Delcina Lee. I see our own dear Mama Fola. Mwah, much respect. God bless you, man. I see Mama Mina Almeida. I see Sister Andy. I see Brother Tabby Bisong. I see Sister Sadie Lee Curry. Uh, Sister Defunke Adele Big Bay. Uh, Elder Samson Idehe. Sister Rebecca Obioha, Sister Bolanle Abudu, Sister Mama Mary Chuku, Sister Ahava Nkechi Ayola, Sister Francine Bell, Sister Delis Adudako, Sister Sandra Dako, Sister Kemi Ogidon, Mama Florence Afasoiro, Sister Margaret Frimpong, Sister Tonya Coates Armstrong, uh, Sister Glory Umuna. Sister Helen Uche, Sister Dolapo Omole, welcome to Power to Triumph this morning, uh, Friday, the 26th day of March 2021. It shall be your best day ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, brethren, God has prepared a word. I have put it on a slide. Three quick words from John chapter 6. Verses 63 to 71 as we go to pray this morning. From verse 63 of John chapter 6. Here is what the scripture say. It says the Holy Spirit gives. Um, no, I'll read the scripture first. And then we'll take the explanation. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives life. 
that which is of the natural realm is of no help. The words that I speak to you are spirit and life, but there are still some of you who won't believe. Let's read what I wrote. I said the Holy Spirit gives life. Without the work of the Holy Spirit, we cannot even see our own need for new life. Hmm. All spiritual renewal begins and ends with God. He reveals truth to us, lives within us, and enables us to respond to that truth. That's the truth. Now, the Holy Spirit is the one that generates in us a hunger and a thirst and a desire for God. Hmm. After he generates that hunger, he feels that hunger. And then he helps us to live that life. That's what Jesus was saying. He said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. So it is the word of God from heaven that comes into our spirit being, steers up something in us. That same word is what fills us and that same word is what enables us to work with God. Remember Acts 20, 32? We pray with every morning. I commend you unto God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance. So your word, the word of God is your life, is my life. Let's go for the word. And I love how we go for the word early morning this day. Now the word you are receiving now, if you believe that word, you can feed on that word. You can live on that word. That word can help you make progress today in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. I decree continuous progress for you spiritually this day in the name of Jesus. Every hunger and thirst for God this morning will be filled by this word you are hearing right now. These words you are hearing, they are spirit and they are life. Believe the word. Run with the word and you will never remain the same again in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. So God alone be all the glory. Now let's go to the second quick word um, from verse 64 to 66. And I'll read. Here's what it says. In fact, Jesus already knew from the beginning who the skeptics were who, and who his traitor would be. He went on to say, this is why I told you that no one embraces me unless the Father has given you to me. And so from that time on, many of the disciples turned their backs on Jesus and refused to be associated with him. Can you see that? Many disciples turned their back. Not followers now. Many disciples turned their back and they refused to follow him, to be associated with him. They refused to identify with Jesus. Why? Why? The reason is it was a hard sentence for them to take it in. How can we eat the flesh of this man? Is this man a witch? <laughs> is this man a witch? That he will ask us to eat his flesh and drink his blood. This is the first time we're hearing it. Nobody has ever told us he must be a witch. And so the Bible says they went away from him. Sometimes you are being misunderstood. Sometimes you are misjudged. Sometimes people don't understand the in-between when you do certain things or say certain things. Don't take it personal and don't, don't be angry at it. It's the way of the world. It's the way of the world. People will, will sometimes not understand you, but the good thing is the one who sent you on assignment, the one who is with you, the one who made you is with you. Your creator is with you and is backing you up. All you need is the backing of the Almighty God. Can I tell you, please, brethren, listen carefully. If there is anything I've learned in ministry, is that, listen, there is nobody that cannot leave you. Oh, we love you so much. Pastor, we love you. We love you. We love you. We will not leave you. And it's a lie of the devil. When the devil steers something up very tiny in them, the next thing you hear, oh, we are leaving. We are not we are going. And da, da, da. So, listen, it's the work of God. The people who will come to you. Now, I'm talking to you in your personal life. I'm talking to you if you're a ministry. I'm talking to you if you're a people person. People are fickle. That's what Jesus experienced. People are fickle. They don't mean what they say sometimes. And sometimes they say some things, they don't mean it. So, 
put very little trust in man. Put your confidence in God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 17, Woe to him that put his trust in man and make the arm of flesh his, 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 his support. Woe to that person. Why? Because men will leave. They left Jesus. They left Jesus. But the ones who are drawn to you will stand. To God alone be all the glory. Are you blessed? Now let me read what I wrote uh, I think it's just the same thing that I'm going to repeat. Now, after many of Jesus' followers had deserted him, he asked the 12 disciples if they were going to leave. Peter replied, to whom would we go? In his straightforward way, Peter answered for all of us. There is no other way. Though there are many philosophies and self-styled authorities, Jesus alone has the words of eternal life. People look everywhere for eternal life and miss Christ, the only source. Stay with him, especially when you are confused or feel alone. So, stay with Christ. He is the source of life. Let's take the third quick word this morning as we pray from verses 70, 67 to 71. Look at it. The scripture says, So Jesus said to the twelve, Are you, do you, and you, do you also want to live? Peter spoke up and said, But Lord, where would we go? No one but you gives the revelation of eternal life. We are fully convinced that you are the anointed one, the son of the living God, and we believe in you. Then Jesus shocked them with this word. I have, I have handpicked you to be my twelve. Knowing that one of you is the devil, Jesus was referring to Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, for he knew that Judas, one of the chosen disciples, was getting ready to betray him. Hallelujah. So he knew. Now, if you were Jesus and you know this guy is going to betray you, will you keep him in your fold? But Jesus still kept him. In other words, it is not what people do that determines the progress of your life. No. It is what the Almighty God does. Though, for me, I will not put a betrayer in my camp. But sometimes by error of omission, not commission, sometimes by error of omission, or sometimes by commission that what we caused by ourselves, certain things happen around us. But can I let you know, Romans 8, 28, For we know that all things work it together for good to them who are called and to them who love the Lord. So all you need to do, love the Lord. Let your love be satisfied. And then you will see God move in your favor. Are you blessed this morning? Hallelujah. Now let me read what I wrote as we go to pray. Um, in response to Jesus' message, some people left. Others stayed and truly believed. And some, like Judas, stayed but tried to use Jesus for personal gain. He sold his master. <laughs> Many people today turn away from Christ. Others pretend to follow, going to church for status, approval of family and friends, or business contacts. But there are only two real responses to Jesus. You either accept him or reject him. Have you responded to Christ? That's a powerful question. Have you responded to Christ? So I want to pray for somebody on this stream this morning. You haven't given your heart to Jesus. You've been following and following. You love everybody. You love everything. But you have never made that personal commitment to Jesus. To say, Jesus, be the Lord of my life. I give you an opportunity this morning. Let's go before the Lord. And I want you to say with me. Put your right hand on your chest. Make that commitment to Jesus personally. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I give my heart to you. Save me. Wash me with your precious blood. I believe that you died and rose again the third day. Today. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In the name of Jesus, be my Lord my Savior. Guide me all the way through. Lead me. Take me with you when you come back. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you just pray that prayer, you got saved. Woo! Congratulations and thank God for your salvation. That salvation will stay with you. The hand of the Lord will rest upon you. May His glory cover you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. I want to congratulate you in Jesus' precious name. Now, brethren, I hope the communion table is set in all the homes. Let's bless the communion. We receive this flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. We call it the flesh and blood 
we call it lord the only anti-death drug in the world as we partake of this it eradicates death in the name of jesus christ and lord it strengthens our bodies to conform to your body in the name of jesus now whatever is in our bodies in the body of anyone near i see somebody now there's a pain in the left part of your abdomen left lower part of your abdomen put your hands on it right now father i remove that agent of satan put in that body i curse the catero water lose your grip over this one lose your grip yes i rebuke you foul demon lose your grip get out yes i break that yoke now remove what you put in that body yes out in the name of jesus christ hallelujah somebody just got set free right now in the name of jesus heavenly father so as we partake of this flesh and blood this life-giving sap let the life of christ enter into everyone thank you lord in jesus precious name we have prayed let's partake of the flesh together hallelujah the flesh and the blood I'll smear the blood all over you cover myself with the blood of jesus thank you lord hallelujah to god alone be all the glory in jesus precious name hallelujah now brethren it's time for personal supplication um praise report and prayer request if you have a personal supplication uh, if you have a prayer request and if you have a praise report please share it right now with the people of god but that will lead us in personal supplication and this is how we're going to pray this morning there's a scripture I want us to pray with from Isaiah chapter 25 verse 6 to 8. This is what God says is going to do in our lives. Here on Mount Zion, the Lord Almighty will prepare a banquet. Hallelujah. Banquet for all nations of the world. A banquet of the richest food and of the finest wine. Here he will suddenly remove the cloud of sorrow that has been hanging over all nations. The sovereign Lord will destroy death forever. Hallelujah. He will wipe away the tears from everyone's eyes and take away the disgrace his people have suffered throughout the world. The Lord himself has spoken. Hallelujah. Now, this is how we're going to pray this morning. Uh, we're going to say, Father, in the, we're praying for Total Woman Conference. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for an open heaven for the Total Woman Conference uh 2021 from april 23rd to 25th let it be an avenue to heal save deliver and restore any lost glory of your people in the name of jesus that's a prayer to pray let's raise our voice and say father in the name of jesus we ask for an open heaven for the total woman conference 2021 from april 23rd to 25th let it be an avenue to heal save deliver restore any lost glory of your people in the name of jesus raise your voice father we pray for O total woman conference 2021 april 23rd to 25th we sanctify those days we decree those days shall be days of heaven on earth in the name of jesus you will heal in that program you will save you will deliver the heaven will be open over every attendee in the name of jesus every lost glory shall be restored you will make a feast of our things in that program and let your hand rest mightily upon that program do what no man can do heal save deliver restore open doors i see the emergence of princes and princesses i see the emergence of kings and queens from this program i see the emergence of god's glorious people from this program so shall it be in the name of jesus please note that down emergence of glorious people emergence of people who are glorified i saw an array of men and women rising up through that program call to their places in destiny taking their rightful place in the name of jesus that's you that are prophesied to in the name of jesus hallelujah are you blessed this morning so if you have a prayer request uh, please type it in there if you have a praise report please type it in to god alone be all the glory now from sister delcina lee i see say i want to thank the lord for divine healing upon my daughter sunday father i return all the glory hallelujah to god alone be all the glory 
Sister Chidema Imo said there was a day I wrote in for a family friend to be prayed for regarding a police case. That case has been dropped. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. Lift up your hand. Let's give glory to God. Father, we thank you for answered prayers. Lord, we give you praise. Now, can I let you know, this platform is one of the hottest platforms around the globe. There is nothing we bring to God on this platform that he doesn't do. He is the one who answers prayer. Let's lift up our hands. Let's give him glory. Father, we thank you for answered prayers. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Now, if you have a prayer request, please type it there. If you have a praise report, share it with the people of God. And this morning, we're going to join you in prayer. While I'm waiting for that, let's take my daily covenant declaration from Psalm 91, verses 1 to 16. If you're ready as I am, let us go. Because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers and under His wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the wicked rewarded, because I made the Lord, which is my refuge, uh, even the Most High, my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. For God shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because I have set my love upon God, therefore will he deliver me, he will be with he will deliver me. He will set me on high because I have known his name. I shall call upon him. He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will God satisfy me and show me his salvation. So shall it be for me and my household today and forever. Amen and amen. As you have declared, so God has cleared for you. It's going to be the best day of your life ever in Jesus' name. Now I see a couple of praise reports. Now, brother John Duca, this, this morning by the Holy Spirit, I had a new name, John Vine. Woo! Glory to God. If the Holy Spirit is giving you a new name, take it and take it on. John Vine, God bless you. Congratulations. Uh, I see also happy birthday, Tammy. Praise God. Uh, Tammy, happy to type it out there. Bring it on to the people of God this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, a couple of announcements. Uh, first, number of, number of things we've done. We've prayed. We've studied the word. We've made declaration. All of these are contained in the YouTube channel, Sonia Denny Ministry. So, go there and uh, go there and make sure that you subscribe and click on notification bell. Like and follow the page, Sonia Denny Ministries. Now, uh, we just prayed for 2021 Total Woman Conference. There it is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sister Eunice DK is putting this, the, the link right there. So if you haven't registered, two registrations you need to do. One on Facebook and one on Eventbrite. The two links have been put. If you're on Facebook side of things, click on that link that Sister Eunice, thank you Sister Eunice for doing that, uh, has put on. Click on it and it will take you straight to the page. On Facebook, you need to say, I'm going. I'm going, not interested, I'm going. And then uh, share on your page to invite your friends as well. And on Eventbrite, you need to book a spot for yourself right there. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be the best time season of your, your life forever. Now, that prophecy, prophecy that came out for Total Woman Conference, I hope somebody is noting it down, the emergence of giants and then the glory of God are resting upon them of everyone that attends that program in jesus name hallelujah now today at joy overflow international church is one of those programs where we go to pay our debts of gratitude to god we have praise night wow please don't miss it if you owe god like i do owe him praise this is a night never to miss 
is a night where the only thing we come to do is to praise, dance, sing, and roll before our Father, give Him glory. Has God done anything for you? The first quarter is coming to an end uh, this weekend. The first quarter is coming to an end. Has God done anything for you? It is time to show up in His presence and pay Him. So you are invited to praise night tonight from 6.30 p.m. If you are in town, join us. 2013 39 Avenue Northeast, Calgary. And uh, if you are not in, in town, join us online via Sonia Adeni Ministries YouTube page or Joy Overflow International Church Facebook page. We have powerful ministries uh, lined up for that program. It's going to be an awesome time. Also, this weekend, make sure you are in church at Joy Overflow for us. It is end of the month Thanksgiving and celebration service. It is also baby dedication service. We have three families that will be dedicating their babies to the Lord in that service. We have a couple of celebrations. Those who had their water baptism, those who became members, we're going to be receiving them and presenting them with their certificates. So it's a loaded service. Please be there in person or online via our YouTube or Facebook it's going to be an awesome time. Make sure you are in church this weekend and be in touch with Jesus. Make sure you are in church this weekend and be in touch with Jesus. May God's name be glorified in your life. Somebody also, is the last day of the week, somebody is asking, how do we give to God? This is it. Watch now. Online on Joy Overflow, www.joyoverflow.church or via interact email transfer to Joy overflow church at gmail.com make sure you sow a seed to the lord for this week to give him glory and give him praise for his faithfulness to you in the name of jesus christ all of this will be rolling by the time we finish this program so you can if you missed anyone please go right there and uh, just stay on you will see them roll over again in jesus name this day goes well for you because you have honored God, it shall be the best day of your life. The hand of the Almighty God shall rest upon you. His glory will cover you. Your going out and your coming in today is blessed. And this weekend, you are covered end to end by the blood of Jesus. You just partook of the blood. There is a covering over you. And on Monday morning, we'll see you again. 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Monday morning in Jesus' name. With Jesus' joy, this morning, shall we together... I mean, yeah, share the covenant from Psalm 16, verse 11. Let's go. God will show me the part of life, for in his presence is the fullness of my joy. And at his right hand are my players forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. Shout the second one out loud. My glory is here. No loss, no pain. No shame. No loss, no pain, no shame for you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? Mm. I shall testify in Jesus' name. One more time. Let's take that. I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. This day goes well for you. Your testimony is the next to be heard. Be in church this weekend and be in touch with Jesus. Tonight, be at the praise night and God's name will be glorified. Pay some of the debt that you owe to God. To God alone be all the glory. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And like I said, stay on. The uh, flyers will be rolling across and the Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. Thank you for coming this morning. Peace.